There was something strange just above the waterline. When the Gacy spotted a mysterious creature clinging to some rocks, they were fascinated. Their intrigue soon turned to panic when they realized what the animal was though, and so they set off on their way to help. Robert and Dee Gacy live with their family in Beaufort County, South Carolina, and in July of 2017, they were enjoying a day out on the harbor in their boat. However, as they were cruising through the water, something caught their eye. Yes, as they soaked up the scenery, the family caught sight of what they believed to be an octopus. The only problem was this, it wasn't in the water. Instead, it appeared to be scaling the bottom of the McTeer Bridge, which connects Beaufort to Ladies Island. Unsurprisingly, the family were captivated and so they steered the boat closer to the bridge, where they could get a better look. However, as they got near, they were horrified to see that the creature wasn't in fact an octopus at all. As it turned out, the orange shape that they'd mistaken for a sea creature was actually a tiny ginger kitten. The cat looked just over a month old and what's more, he was precariously hanging onto the oyster pilings at the bottom of the bridge. One misplaced paw then and the little animal would splash into the water. The Gacy family were understandably astonished by what they were seeing. We were in disbelief, Robert told the Beaufort Gazette in July of 2017 and they knew they had to act quickly to save the kitten. Dee then began to film as the Gacy's embarked on their rescue attempt. This involved the family attempting to steer their boat to the oyster piling to get near the animal. Unfortunately, the powerful tide just kept pushing them away. Meanwhile, as they worked out what to do, Dee called out comforting words to the kitten, but the baby cat looked absolutely terrified. Indeed, as the family approached, they could see that he was quivering with fear and that he had also sustained some gashes to his belly. After a nervous few minutes, the Gacy subsequently steered their boat within reaching distance of the kitten. Finally, then, they were able to pull the poor creature from the oyster pilings and place him in their boat. And before long, the little animal was back to the safety of dry land. That said, the tiny kitten was showing signs of dehydration, so the family decided that the best course of action was to take him home. Once there, the Good Samaritans then cleaned the animal up and provided him with some much-needed food and water. Thankfully, too, the kitten had no major injuries or ailments, so the family reckoned he'd be right as rain in no time. And they were spot on. He seems to be doing great now, Robert told the Beaufort Gazette a few days after the rescue. Later, Dee, meanwhile, decided to share the footage she'd captured that day. And in the accompanying caption on social media, she revealed what she believed was the nature of the harrowing ordeal that the kitten had been through. We rescued a tiny kitten today that appears to have been thrown off the bridge, she wrote on Facebook in July of 2017. He couldn't be much more than four or five weeks. He was very lucky and only appears to have minor scrapes from the oysters. His name is McTeer. Dee's husband Robert, for his part, expanded on their theory about someone throwing McTeer off the bridge, although he conceded that the kitten could have fallen too. Either way, as he told the Beaufort Gazette, it was very odd circumstances as to where we found him. In the meantime, Dee's video had gone viral on Facebook. Indeed, before long, the footage was viewed 148,000 times. It also clocked up over 300 comments, many of which doubled up as adoption offers for McTeer. But McTeer wasn't going anywhere. Yes, the Gacy family had already decided to keep him as their own. Thank you for all the wonderful comments. McTeer is doing fantastic. He's healthy, full of energy, and already spoiled rotten. Robert reassured the kittens fans on Facebook. A few days after the kittens rescue, the Gacy family took McTeer for a checkup at the Port Royal Veterinarian Hospital and their vets too confirmed that the cat was doing well. He's in remarkably good shape considering everything, veterinarian Mary Kay Campbell told the Beaufort Gazette. However, just to be sure, Campbell x-rayed the kitten and took samples of his blood to ensure that everything was well on the inside. One concern is his sodium levels if he had ingested or inhaled salt water, she explained. Sometimes it can have an effect even if he didn't drown. Judging by Dee's Facebook pictures, though, it appears that little McTeer got the all clear from the veterinary clinic. As you can see, he now lives a comfortable life of nap times and cuddles in the Gacy household. And although things could have been very different for the kitten, the family, for their part, don't see themselves as heroes. We did anything any other person who would have seen the kitten would have done, Robert said. It's a happy ending and hopefully he won't have to use any more of his nine lives.